Whether you're a design novice or a seasoned pro, we've got the tips and tricks you need to create stunning visuals in no time. Say goodbye to any design struggles and hello to easy effortless creativity as I show you some of my favorite Canva hacks. Hi, I'm Angelina, the social media manager of Grease and Enterprises. I specialize in creating content using Canva, Figma, Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, and Premiere Pro. One of the best features in Canva when you're dealing with images or videos is the background remover. With the click of a button, you can isolate your subject easily. For photos, all you have to do is click on your image, and at the top bar, you'll see Edit Photo. Under Tools, you're going to select BG Remover, BG standing for background. Watch Canva do all the work for you. If you're not totally happy with the results, you can click BG Remover again to pull up settings where you can brush over certain areas to remove or to add back. The same principles applies to the videos. You can simply click on your video, edit video, and click background remover. Note that only Canva Pro users can use this feature at this time. Text and shapes is a great thing to know of. Rather than layering a shape in a text box, you can simply type in the shape just by clicking and typing. All the same text effects work inside this shape, so treat it like a text box. My third Canva hack is that you can easily change the way shapes look by adding a border or playing with the corners. Simply click the three lines at the top bar and you'll see there are different patterns for the border. And you can also change the weight of the line by making it thicker or thinner. You can also change the corners by making them more rounded if you don't like the sharp look. Can't find a graphic that's suiting your needs? You can just draw it. On the left panel, you'll see Draw. Once you open it, you'll see various tools pop out. You've got a pen, marker, highlighter, and eraser. Depending on which tool you've selected, you'll be able to change the color by selecting the color box. The color will only change for the current tool, so keep that in mind. You will also be able to change the weight and transparency by clicking the three lines. The cursor is so that you can move your drawings around. And it may be hard to draw with the mouse, but if you have a drawing tablet connected, it'll help out a lot. Using Ctrl Z on Windows or Command Z on Mac, you can actually undo the lines more efficiently. Hopefully these hacks were helpful, from removing backgrounds effortlessly to mastering text and shapes, manipulating appearances, and so much more. Best of luck designing!